crafting friends. I'm coming today with a um, project share and um, I'm just trying to you know finish up um, stuff that I've had around just alter a few items um, you know instead of everything just being um, stashed away um, hidden away in drawers so I was gifted a couple of um, gumball machines and I think if I remember right, I, I think they both came um, from Irene, who's Crafty Irina. So there's this one here. It's pretty good size. And um, it's a pink. Yes, um, Alter Us. And that's, that's what Irene um, uses. So there's this one. And um, this one I need to still alter. And then she gave me this one, this little cutie here. So what I used um, was some deco arts. I used the um, Liquitex resin sand. So it's kind of a texture paste, um, that, but it has sand in it. So it just kind of gives you a real good, real fun um, texture. Then I used the Deco Arts Medium Liquid Acrylics in Cobalt Turquoise. This is a really super thin um, paint um, that is professional grade. So it is really high quality pigment. Um, little tiny, tiny drop of this in any of your modeling paste or anything that you're using really goes a long way. So that is what I used to color it and then I just um, you know took this the lid off and anyway I just um, used my spreader and I spread the resin sand all over and then when I got that all done I took deco art glamour dust which is a sprinkle on glitter in crystal that I got from the Deco Arts Helping Artist program and I sprinkled it all over the bottom of um, my little gumball machine and then I found this beautiful um, kind of a Chinese braid rope um, trim in my stash and I hot glued that on and then I just filled it up with um, some beads that were um, that same lovely color and this is like the color in my craft room kind of a um, I went with aquas and um, teals so I just thought this would be really fun um, I'll put it up on my little bead organizer and um, these were all the beautiful beads that were in this um, blue aqua color scheme that my Aunt Bev, whose new crafter Bev, had given me. So when I want to make a stick pin using um, these beautiful beads, I can just pop the top off and reach in. And actually the handle here um, for the gumball machine, it still turns and I did give it a try and um, some of the beads fell out. Of course if it was more the round pearl beads they're much easier to come out than um, some of the other shaped beads but I was able to um, get the beads to fall out and come out um, the little dispenser opening so that's real fun. So thank you Irene for the really fun um, gumball machine and um, I can't wait to um, complete um, and alter this one. It'll be a little bigger and um, I'll set it up on my um, little organizer and so I'll have a couple little matching gumball machines. So thank you ladies for watching and happy crafting.